What's up everybody? Thanks for watching Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title. And this week's episode we're talking about, have you ever hired a mentor? Thanks everyone for checking back in. Again, my name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, author of the best-selling book, Rescue Your Business. We're continuing on our journey through the 15 chapters in the book, and this week we're talking about chapter number three. Don't forget to subscribe below, maybe share on social media, and as always, buy the book on our website. We're selling it for $9.97 shipped to your house. If you go to Amazon, it's $15, because we want to make sure we get this book in as many hands as we can. So this week, our episode, we're talking about, have you ever hired a mentor? I get asked so many times at so many of these meetings that I'm speaking at where people talk about, should I have a mentor? Who should I hire? What do they do? And I always like to start back at the beginning. You know, think about when you were in grade school. Uh, I, I like to make sure I, I set the landscape that your mentor doesn't have to necessarily be uh, successful. Your, your mentor doesn't necessarily have to be rich. Your mentor has to be educated in the area that you're looking to learn. So think about in grade school, your teacher, they may not have been rich, they may not have been very successful, but they were a teacher, they were educated, they cared about their students, and they knew how to teach you the topic that they were hired to do. So I want you to think about that, whether you're in real estate or any other business, do you have a mentor? People ask me all the time, Kevin, do you have a mentor? And I absolutely do. You have to read the book to learn more about it, but his name is Bob Berg, B-U-R-G. He's the author of the best-selling book, The Go-Giver, as well as two other sequels after that. He taught me very valuable lessons about industry networking and how to build your business based on referrals, which is how I've built a seven-figure business year over year for the last three years, talking about referrals endless referrals, referrals that continue to come in with all you have to do is treat your referral partners like gold. You just have to build those relationships. But I want to talk about mentorship because the viewers watching, you may be a real estate agent. So let's talk about you realtors for a second. Think about if you're looking to become a better realtor, where do you find that? Do you find that by hiring some business uh, mentor? Probably not. You want to start finding or surrounding yourselves with successful agents. That's a great way for you to find mentorships. I know some of the real estate companies that we work with, they have mentorship programs. So it's very important. Just tie yourself with a very successful mentor, a very successful agent in the business, and you can learn a lot. Yes, they may take part of your first or second commission, but you are going to learn so much valuable information. Now, if you want to learn how to build a real estate business and you want to learn how to become a, an entrepreneur and maybe have agents work for you, then that's where you want to start looking to hire some type of business mentor, someone who can give you business strategies like what we talk about in the book. You may not necessarily need to hire a mentor if you buy the book and you read it because we definitely talk about 15 strategies that can help you be a successful entrepreneur that I've learned over the years. So let's talk about an investor. A lot of the investors, we go to these meetings, all these investor clubs, and there's this program and that program and another program. And I always tell people, start with your why. Start with what part of the deal? Why do you want to do wholesaling? And who can you find that is an expert at wholesaling? It is very difficult to find a mentor that is going to be very broad and understand every aspect of your business. You want to start narrowing it down. So if you want to be an investor and you want to learn how to wholesale, you want to hire a successful wholesaler. And we can always uh, pass you on to some of the ones that we know that are doing real business. Not the one that's going to just take your money, but someone who's going to actually teach you because they have a vested interest to make you successful. Now, if you want to do rehabbing, maybe you want to hire an expert that's a general contractor or someone that is actually rehab properties. That would be a great person to bring you onto your wing and learn how to rehab properties. And then eventually you'll start getting the skill set to be able to go out and obviously do rehabs yourself. 
But then I like to turn it back to what we spoke about at the end of the realtor part is talking about a business mentor. So you really need to look at your business and decide what you want. Do you want to hire a Tony Robbins because you need the motivation and you need someone who's going to give you the rah-rah and get you up? You know, you want to learn how to lose weight, you go to the gym and you hire a personal trainer. I work out with a personal trainer three days a week and it changes the way I feel, it changes the way I look, it changes my mental attitude. So you have to find out what aspect in your life you can hire a mentor that is going to teach you to be more successful, that's going to teach you to, to be more motivated, it's going to teach you maybe to eat right, maybe to sleep right, maybe to think right, maybe to network right. So you need to really narrow that funnel down. You need to find out what aspect in your business do you want to start with. Do not look for that business coach that's going to teach you on every aspect because it does not exist. It's not going to work, they're just going to take your money. You need to narrow it down to a specific product or service, a specific part of your business that you want to learn and find an expert. A lot of times you can find even experts that produce videos on social media. I watch a ton of them. One of the, the larger ones I watch is Patrick Bet David. You can look him up on YouTube and I watch his entrepreneur series every single day he launches a new video. And it gives me one or two little nuggets that I can implement into my business every single day in order to build a more successful business. Business. So hopefully the next time I write a book, maybe my seven figure business will be an eight figure business. Maybe instead of 10 or 12 employees, we're going to have 20 or 30 employees. So the whole idea is what vision do you see in yourself? Where do you want to be in three months, six months and a year from now and find the person that can change your life like I did and I wrote about in the book. So don't forget, click the link below and buy the book. It's $9.97. Again, I'm gonna ship it right to you. I'm gonna give you a signed copy, or you can always go on Amazon Prime and you'll have it uh, in two days, Amazon Prime. I think it's $14.97 on Amazon. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to look out for next week's episode. We're gonna move into chapter four. Make sure you buy the book or download it on Kindle so you can follow along. So thanks for watching this episode of Title Tuesdays. My name's Kevin Thatcher, the Title King, signing off. And as always, I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.